Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a hoot and a half because this company got me messed up, girl. Messed up. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give a thumbs up. Um, and leave me comments down below of what kind of videos you'd like to see so I know and don't forget to subscribe on your way out because that would mean a lot to me. <sighs> so much to say so little time anyways without further ado let's just hop right into the video let me just give you the scenery of this video okay I was in my bed like this scrolling late at night to uh, find some different items and I came across a website that was selling resistance band four pounds every step leggings and I was like oh my god I need to try these yeah well for one these uh, resistance band leggings run you a great $98 Fuck that. I really was like, damn, $98. These boys are really trying to run my bank account dry. But I really want to do it for my YouTube fam. So I ended up buying them, obviously, because I'm doing this video. And let me just say, I was surprised. So my first impressions was interesting, as you will see. <sighs> hey, guys. So I just got out of the shower. Mm-hmm. Looking clean fresh my mom informed me that my package came and I opened it up and it's my resistance band four pound leggings so I thought I would just show you guys um my first impressions first things first this is what they look like right they're all scrunched up this is what the picture or what I ordered shows I don't see any scrunching whatsoever. They also look like um, they're calf leggings, but these look way longer than that. And they have a hole at the bottom, which I'm assuming is for your heel to go in, but I've never really been a fan of that. But I mean, I'm down to try something new. I'm just really conflicted right now because I don't know if I got the wrong product or, like this is what they sent me and I'm just dumb and I should have known but either way like that's not what the picture looked like I swear okay well anyways I'm gonna try these on and wish me luck because I don't know how this is gonna go these look very odd they look like I washed them and they shrunk in the dryer but it's cool $98 it's, it's so let me just let me just show you this what's going on. Right now, you can legit just see the resistance bands running through the leggings, which in my opinion, I think that's not that's not a good design. It's just not very cute. Maybe this wasn't made to be cute, but like $98. I'm gonna want a little bit of comfort, cute, and the product actually working. So I'm a dock at a star already for um, not being cute or it's just ugh, these are like uncomfortable too. Like, anyways, let me show you the main problem here. My main issue is this. What's going on here in the crotch? There's like all this space because the resistance bands are like pulling down on the crotch area. I keep trying to hike them up, but they just keep stretching. It's and then you bend over. And you got all this extra crotch. I'm sorry, who needs that much crotch area? Uh, not me. I'm confused. I'm conflicted. Who made these? Also, while we're at it, why don't we just do a squat test to see, do these even pass the squat test? Oh my God, these don't even pass the squat test. So, so far I'm really not impressed whatsoever, but um, if they help me burn calories more, then we shall see, but otherwise, I'm not, not loving it. Not feeling it. 
So yeah, my first impressions weren't so hot. Um, I was really surprised because the picture really did look different to me. But I was like, it's okay. I'm gonna give it benefit of the doubt. If these actually work, then it's cool, right? It's cool. $98, it's still cool, it's still cool. So anyways, I decided to test the leggings and go to the gym. I did a hit cardio um, slash full body workout and I used my Apple Watch to record um, the burned calories, active calories, and how long I worked out for. Working out in the gym and those leggings were honestly really frustrating, but like I said, gave the doubt. So I'm at the gym in my very odd pants that we that we saw yesterday. My plan is I'm going to test my calories that I burn while working out in these pants and I think I'm gonna do a full body like hit cardio type of workout. Um, get my heart rate up and um, since I'm doing full body I will be using like my legs so these things will get my legs bending and whatnot, you know. But basically, we're just going to see if I burn more calories doing a workout in these or do they do anything. I'm gonna do a workout in them and we'll see if it's more challenging. Am I burning more calories? We shall see. So I'm gonna hop into my workout. I have a call at two o'clock, so it's currently um, 1.15 and we, We'll see how long I have time for. So let's bob into it. Finish the workout. Hair is looking great. So I burned 243 total calories and 204 active calories. Of course, it's really hard to like get any exact measurement of calories. This is kind of just a test to see if I'm burning more calories with these pants. I did notice that when I was using my legs, it definitely was more of a challenge and harder to do squats or something of that nature. So I definitely was having a harder time doing that. But I still, I'm not really on the bandwagon. I feel like they're just not comfortable, not really practical. They're not squat proof, so that's a big no-no. And yeah, there's just, there was a lot of ifs. But of course, I'm still not sure if I burn more calories doing uh, a workout with these on or maybe just regular pants, I don't know. So that's the current thoughts on the pants. So yeah, I was not really impressed with my gym workout. Um, I mean, I burned a substantial amount of calories and I was sweating by the end of it. Those pants were just really uncomfortable during the full workout. So I feel like if you're not comfortable in your pants, like, that's, that's a problem because I'm not gonna wear that to the gym where everyone can see me. So far, these leggings are a fail, but I decided to go to the gym and test how many calories I burned in regular leggings.
at 224 calories, 186 active, and 27 minutes and 6 seconds. So in my first workout, I burned 243 calories, and in the second workout, I burned 224, which is a whopping 19 calorie difference. Did you what? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I just pay $98 to burn 19 calorie difference? Girl, no. I'm just a little, I'm a little speechless because $98 is a high price and we all know that Lululemon costs $98 or you could buy maybe two pairs of Gymshark leggings for 90 something dollars. So that's a really steep price for an indie brand because I went to their Instagram they only have like 3,000 followers, so they're definitely, definitely new company, or they just have terrible marketing. One of the two. I think that $90 to burn maybe more calories is a little steep. Um, they weren't comfortable. They weren't squat proof. And they gave you like a weird looking crotch, because when you're pulling them up, the resistance bands just pull down. So it's like constantly someone, some kid tugging at your pants, pulling your pants down. Only me? Just me? Okay. <sighs> yeah, so no. I'm not really impressed with the pants. Um, I don't see myself ever wearing them again, using them. Um, so I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, obviously, it, it was not 100% accurate. I mean, I tried to stay as consistent with my first and second workout as possible but nothing's gonna be perfect but for the most part i did burn more calories in the other leggings they just not by much not by much anyways if you guys are interested in checking out this brand or um finding out a little bit more information i'm going to leave my instagram down below so you guys can um check out my posts find their instagram read about it um more yourself because sometimes I just can't think of everything to say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.